All right, so I did take the string off, but I had to put it back on because the lights were falling off. So I'm gonna leave it on overnight and tomorrow morning, maybe it'll dry up by then. So I can't put the air filter on right now. Actually, I can actually. So I might. Um, so I just gonna have to set over here overnight. Um, I'm not gonna start it until them lights are, the glue on them lights are completely dry. So I can put this key up. And now it's a waiting game. Pretty much I could do a few other things. So that's probably what I'll do. Um, I'm thinking about getting a beacon light for it. Um, I wish I still had that one. That's just the cover of it. But it may, I actually, I put it in the wrong container and got water in it. I did, you still see the marks where I just set it right there. And I went down the road with it. And, um, and uh, then I uh, mowed around the ditch with it and mowed with it. I hooked it directly to the battery of here. Not this battery, but we, we had a couple batteries since then. Um, see, let's check the lights. We're going good. Um, I may have to cut that when I take the lights off. I may have to, or take the string off. I may have to cut through there. And this might, this string might be still attached, but it'll be fine. Just look a little ugly until it rots off. So, we'll see about that. Um, only thing that really matters is it working so i got the light bulbs right here i should probably move them which i'm going to and put them in my carburetor parts box and they should be good there so um, I did clean this air filter, like it said on the book, and the YouTuber I watched, Tower Fixes All, he said to wash it out with soap and water. I just washed it out with regular water, cause it, but it's a lot cleaner now. Now I have to let this completely dry until, uh, before. I put it back on there because then moisture will get in the carburetor and uh, it won't run right and a few issues. Now I got a thermometer here. It ain't completely right a whole lot. Um, it might be right. I don't know. It's a cheap, it's just a cheap one. So it's probably wrong. Um... Of course, it's not out there, so it's probably a little warmer right there. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, let's see, fuel. I did turn the fuel on. Now this hose don't go to nothing. I don't know what it's here for, but um, yeah. It's just there. So, um, yeah. So I guess I'll fix that real quick while I'm thinking about it. And while I have time. There we go now. Let's see, what else could I do? Alright, so, 
That's all connected. The old fill plug is covered so I can't put more oil in the transmission. Wires, I got them tied back so they're out of the way here. You know what I didn't think of? When I pull it, sometimes it kicks back. It could hit that bulb and break it. But I could prevent that if I just make sure to hold it on real tight like that. Should be fine instead of holding it like this. So I'll try to start it better. I'll try to kind of more more right, I guess you'd say, I don't know. Do it more correct. Um, so yeah, I got stock muffler, I got exhaust stack still. Um, putting them, I'm gluing these lights on here, like I said. Got a generator on here. All right, so we got the blade on there. The stack, the flapper, the muffler. Blunt, working on gluing the lights. Like I said, you already know that. And you already know I got this generator on here. So I got these wires tied back. And another piece of wire. Mint. Got this 2x4 right here because you don't know what uh, to use for it. Mint. John Dersan on the Kubota orange paint. Mint. Got electric and extension cord in here for no reason. Mint. Okay, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bad gum. It's usually a three banger. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now. And I want to let this set all day today, all night tomorrow, uh, all night tonight. And uh, come out here in the morning, see what's going on here, see if it's dried up. If it's not completely dried up, I'll leave it on throughout the day, maybe the night. Um, then it'll be the weekend. So then I'll have to let it set all weekend. So that should be just fine. Come out here Monday and start her up. But she'll probably be dry by tomorrow morning or uh, by this time tomorrow or so, But which is like 11 o'clock. But uh, anyway, see y'all guys in the next video.